Before you start optimizing your campaigns, go to Criterion Hub and check rules settings for your account. This is essential because based on the settings you will choose, they might have an immediate impact on your campaign setup. I will guide you through Criterion Hub and its settings and features. But before I do, let me first explain what Criterion Hub is. AdSpurt's complementary service is an automation that continuously harvests and suggests the best criteria for your advertising accounts. Keywords, assets, and other qualified criteria for you to target. The only input that our advanced automation needs from you is to decide exactly how to add those criteria to your advertising campaigns, or not at all. One important note. For the Criterion Hub features to work, your advertising campaigns first need to be optimized by AdsPert. Now let's talk about how you can set, if, and how, should AdsPert add criteria to your campaigns. You can do this from Criterion Hub's rules page. This is the default rules simplified mode that is available for all users. In this mode you can set rules on account level. There's also the advanced mode where you can create rules on campaign and ad group level. But it is only available to users with the enterprise plan. If you want to learn more about the advanced mode rule settings and options, check out our help center or just get in touch with us. Now back to rules simplified mode. Here's where you can see a list of all your connected advertising accounts and three actions you can choose from. Review, add, and ignore. First, locate the account that you would like to set up the rule action for. Second, choose the rule action you want to apply to the selected account. You can choose between review, add, or ignore. Keep in mind, whatever action you choose will affect your entire advertising account, meaning all of its campaigns and ad groups. By default, the rule action is always set to review. This means, AdSpurt's criteria suggestions for your account appear on the suggestions review page and you need to approve them before they are submitted to your advertising account. Remember, criteria stands for everything that can be bid on, keywords, products, categories, and so on. If you choose Add, AdSpurt will automatically add all suggested criteria types to corresponding campaigns and ad groups within your advertising account. Amazon Ads Users, Attention! If you choose Add or Review as your rule actions and you have Amazon Ads sponsored products campaigns, AdSpurt will also automatically create the corresponding manual campaigns as destinations whenever needed. Sounds like a lot to take in? Don't worry, if you ever get stuck, Click the hand icon in the upper right corner. You will get on-screen explanations of all elements on the page. And that's it for the rules page. Let's move on and take a look at the goals page. The goals page is the key page to manage and view your ads per optimization. In a nutshell, here is where you can select the campaigns you want to optimize and set and adjust your optimization goals. To get to the goals page, click Control from the main navigation bar and select Goals from the drop-down. Now we will actually start optimizing advertising campaigns with AdsPert. Before our AI can start optimizing your ad accounts from one or multiple platforms, you need to create performance groups, assign ad campaigns to them, and set goals. Don't worry, I will show you how to do all that in a bit. As a first step, let's define what is a performance group. First of all, this is an AdSpurt term. A performance group is a group of campaigns that are optimized towards a common optimization goal. This means that campaigns with a similar goal should be grouped together in a specific performance group. For example, if you have several campaigns to maximize the conversions or common ACOs goals, place them in one performance group. Let's have a closer look at the performance group setup, which we strongly recommend to all AdSpurt beginners. If you just started using our awesome tool, we strongly advise you to create only one performance group per account or per marketplace. Assign all your campaigns to it. Set the cost per day goal and let it run for two to three weeks. Why? Because like anything and anyone, also our AI needs a bit of time to learn about your campaigns, a short learning phase. The learning phase takes around two weeks for Amazon ads, Google ads, Microsoft ads, and four weeks for eBay ads. Think of our AI as your new employee. 
When you welcome a new team member, you probably give them some time to get their head around how things work, right? Just like your new employee, our AI needs to learn about your campaigns, analyze the data, and figure out what's working well in your account and what's not. And just like you invest some time and let the new employee learn, we recommend you to let our AI learn as well by starting up with a learning phase. Our AI learns on its own. As long as you follow those three steps, you don't need to do anything else than give it time and let it learn. Unlike with your new employee, who definitely needs some training. Like I mentioned earlier, this learning phase setup works in about 95% of cases. The remaining 5% applies to exceptions. Among those, two exceptions are more common. I will present both and recommend a different learning phase setup, suitable for exceptional cases. If your case does not apply to either, contact us via chat or email later on and we will be happy to help. The first exception is, if you have connected to AdSpurt two or more advertising accounts. And at the same time some of them are e-commerce accounts, like Amazon Ads or eBay Ads, and some are search accounts, like Google Ads or Microsoft Ads. E-commerce and search campaigns have very different goals and costs. You simply bid on different things and also differently measure the success of those campaigns. In this case, I recommend you create two performance groups. Assign e-commerce-related campaigns to one and search-related campaigns to the second performance group. The second exception is if you have very marketplace-specific goals or a fixed budget for two or more different marketplaces. For example, your budget for Germany is 500 euros and the budget for the UK is 1000 euros. If you put the campaigns from both marketplaces to the same performance group, AdsPert might allocate more budget to one of them. If you need to make sure to spend 500 euros for Germany and 1000 euros for the UK, then I recommend you create two performance groups. Assign Germany specific campaigns to one and UK specific campaigns to the other performance group. And that's it. What's the bottom line of the learning phase? When you let our AI learn all about your account, you get better results in the long run. Our algorithm gains more bidding flexibility. It learns faster and better about all the factors that improve the performance of your campaigns. And when the algorithm works better, it boosts the ad optimization which brings you more sales and more profits. All that happens automatically, saving your time, letting you focus on your core business and help it grow. Let's move on and create a new performance group. Click the create new and follow all steps, campaign selection, name, and goals. A special note, there is an option that allows you to create an empty performance group. This is an advanced option that should be used only in special cases and we don't recommend it to those who recently signed up to AdsPert. Click next and select the campaigns that you want to optimize towards the same goal in the same performance group. Whichever method you use, the aim is the same, to pick out campaigns with a similar goal. Also, the default data range for the metrics is 30 days. Further to the right there's filters. When you click the icon on the right, it expands or collapses the active filters on the left and an option to add filters. After you've set the filters, scan through the list of available campaigns on the left. To add a campaign to the new performance group, simply click on it. It will automatically appear on the top of the selected campaigns list on the right. If you select a campaign by accident, you know exactly where to find it, at the top. To remove a campaign from the selected campaigns list, click it again and the campaign will move back to the left, to the available campaigns list. There are also select all and deselect all options. This can be useful if you use filters to filter campaigns and want to add or remove all campaigns from the selected campaigns list on the right. When you are happy with the selection, click next to move on to the next step. Choose a unique name for your performance group and type it in the box. The last step in the performance group creation is to set its goal. To support your decision about the goal type and value, you can use the AdsPert scenario view. The scenario forecasts the possible results of the selected goal. By default, it shows the cost per day goal while taking into consideration the last 30 days. See how the chart changes as I click on different goals? Here is where you can play around with different goal options. Unless you just started with AdsPert. 
AdsPert first needs to learn about your campaigns and therefore scenario won't show 100% reliable numbers. In this case, follow the learning phase guidelines I explained earlier. In this step, click set the goal manually and select cost per day goal. Or simply click on a dot on the chart and choose a goal type. Let's have a bit closer look into scenario forecast and how you can explore different goals. See the two drop downs in the upper left side, goal and context? I will show you how to explore different combinations of goals and context. This gives you an idea what results you can expect based on your account's historical data. Click the drop down under goal. Select a different goal type or click one of the metrics under the chart. See how the chart changed? As you switch between goal types, the curve changes and impacts the context metrics represented on the y-axis. Whatever goal type you will go for, I strongly recommend you to choose a value that is not more than 20% lower or higher than your current value. If you would like to improve your goal by let's say 40%, don't do it at once. This is too big of a change. First set a 20% higher goal value. Then wait until the goal is reached. Only then adjust it for the additional 20%. Then click set as performance group goal and proceed to the final steps. This is the last step in the process of creating a new performance group, the goal confirmation page. Here you can check the goal value once more to make sure it is realistic to reach and in line with your business objectives. At this point you can also set a max bid for your performance group. This can help with reducing the risk of overspending on clicks on all the campaigns in the performance group. However, bear in mind that the final cost of your clicks might be higher. The submitted bid does not take into consideration bid modifiers and adjustments. This is something to consider when setting your max bid for your performance group. When you are ready, again click set as performance group goal. And congratulations, you have created a performance group and started optimizing your campaigns with the help of our state-of-the-art AI. AdsPert will automatically schedule the submission of bid changes and start working towards reaching your set goal within the next 24 hours. If this is the very first performance group you have created, you will get an additional note confirming that you have kicked off your AdsPert optimization. I want to bring your attention to the yellow banner. If some advertising campaigns in your account are not associated with any performance groups, a yellow notification banner appears at the top of the goals page. Why is this important? Because AdsPert can only optimize your campaigns if they're assigned to a performance group. If a campaign is not assigned to any performance group, AdsPert cannot optimize it. And the yellow banner warns you about all such campaigns.